If you're a bride-to-be and you're planning your wedding and you still need to say yes to the perfect dress, apparently on your to-do list you need to put Suzanne Haynes because this is what wedding dress dreams are made of. Joburg-based designer Suzanne Haynes founded one of South Africa's most intriguing fashion labels. Her unique designs could be described as architectural, sculptural, or even wearable art. Though her avant-garde collections have received much acclaim internationally and locally, it's her exquisite bridal gowns that I'm here to admire. If you can imagine a utopia filled with fine lace, delicate chiffon, and soft silk, this is where you'll find yourself at Suzanne Haynes Bridal Studio. Suzanne, you founded the label back in 2008. How do you think you've evolved as a designer since then? As a designer, we constantly evolve. Um, that is how we learn. So experimentation is very important for me, and I've always worked in different types of materials, be it concrete or cork or mini mouse eyes or paint or whatever it is. But from that, your technique gets better, and you start thinking in a different way, and you start experimenting more. But keeping that signature and always feeling like a Suzanne Haynes piece is very important to me. And what encouraged you to extend the ready-to-wear and the couture business into bridal? Well, I never set out to be a bridal designer. For me, I wanted to always kind of play and experiment. People started saying, but can't you make me a wedding dress? And I thought, but why not? You know, of course I can, I like to design. So the more I started doing wedding dresses, the better I kind of became at it, and the more people started knowing that I do wedding dresses. And you get to make beauty, so why not? Designing a wedding dress is such a personal experience. You know, how do you collaborate with the bride to create a bespoke look for her, which is also very signature to your style? It's important to sit with the bride, and I literally only start sketching Maybe after the third consult, I need to know who are you? What do you care about? What is your personality? It's who you are, and it has to kind of exemplify you and make you the best you that you can be. Do seasonal fashion trends actually influence bridal couture? For me as a designer, I always say I hate trends. Um, I don't believe in it. I believe in classicism, and I believe in something that should last forever. But there are certain trends in bridal. For instance, there might be a little bit more of a slant towards vintage, or there's no more veils, but I believe that it should be classic, it should be relevant in 40 years when you look back you should still look beautiful. Fabric and embellishment are an important part of all couture. You know, how do you work with fabric and beading to create a truly unique design? Fabric is incredibly important, it's paramount. So the way that we work with fabrics is that I might do little cutouts or I might layer. Some of my bride's dresses are actually paint on their dresses. And um, that's also a very interesting thing. So it becomes this art piece and, you know, wanting to have been an artist, it's really nice to be able to do those kinds of things. And what does the quintessential Suzanne Haynes bride desire in her wedding dress? You know, I think every bride is unique. They don't want to be the cookie cutter bride. I design around them. So it's a woman that kind of, she wants something different, but not necessarily something crazy and off the wall. She's, she wants to stand out and also look classic. What sets your bridal service apart for brides looking for an amazing experience? When you think a fashion designer doing a bridal gown, you think, what is it? It's going to be astronomical. And I believe that these gowns should be accessible. We work within your budget, and I think that doesn't happen very often when you go to a designer. You try dresses on, you choose a fabric, we look at existing silhouettes, and then we work together. So that it's just um, a beautiful place to actually come and play. You know, I want the girls to come and play, try things on, and just have a lot of fun.